Hello, my name is Carl Segrage, and this is a C++ project that I did for data structures and algorithms. This is the Huffman algorithm. I'm going to run a simple test, and there it is. So characters, frequency, and the code. So the highest frequency of the character should have the lowest code, um, the uh, shortest path. Um, so that's the idea. And basically, the characters might appear, and uh, basically the frequency that that they occur is, uh, and then it it just so it's stored this way. It's um. Uh -huh. and that's the idea of this uh, the Hoffman algorithm so uh, yeah that's pretty much it I don't think that needs any more explanation but I do have um, uh, this the wiki and you can see the tree basically uh, looks like it has nodes and uh, that's the Hoffman tree and you can see it has a code and the highest code I mean the highest frequency for that uh, a given character ha should have the smallest code or shortest path and uh, yeah so that's basically what, what my application does and I'm gonna I'll go over the code now so this is the C out this is the main so I'm gonna go over the main and uh, it, it uses a priority queue takes a node pointer Vector of, no, of node pointers, uh, node compare, and this is the M heap. So, just a lot of the, you know the GUI to see how stuff. So obviously, I use this is what I use for the test. I did it in reverse order, and then you saw that it was an output. Um, as you can see, it gets outputs with the highest frequency and displays like that. So. <coughs> So a C is a character and f the frequency. So this is when, I, if I chose not to use the test sample, I can enter the character and the frequency for each node it will create and add that and make my own. Um, so um, yeah right here so you see uh, if I choose one I can run test sample if I chose two I could create just create my own uh, random test but the test sample is uh, more ideal uh, for this demonstration create Huffman tree um, so this is going to create the Huffman tree um, then uh, we're going to declare a node list just an array of node pointers uh, it's going to be the size of the heap um, and uh, get nodes past the m heap top it will this is the path so we're just going to first pass the empty path and node list uh, which is the array here that we just created and then I will do the frequency sort so basically this is just sorts the um, source by frequency and then this just prints out of the uh, the basically the output data to the screen to the console so we'll output this header and just all this information for uh, each node um, and so I'll go over each one of these now So the create Huffman tree takes a the M heap. This is a while loop, M heap uh, until M heap is greater uh, than one. As long as M heap is greater than one. So uh, this is remove one, remove two, and then merge both. So min one just takes the value of the top value of the heap and then we pop it so that removes it from the heap same here for the second one we get the next one and then remove that and then we create a new node and we take the two frequencies add them and then and sentinel 
is the I guess the car and this is the frequency of the new node the car uh, sentinel this just means don't include it this node is not included and store uh, in that new node to the left we'll store the first one and then to the right we'll store the second the second one basically min 1, min 2 uh, for a second the same difference really and, uh, there's just two nodes um, push back and M heap so put the new node in the heap and then that's all this does Next is the get nodes. This takes a node head pointer, a string path, and the node list. Uh, cannot head, so that returns. Um, head character cannot equal a sentinel. So, like I was saying, Sentinel will not be included. So, other than that, the head code will equal path. And the node list, insert head. So, yeah. And then what happens here is um, get nodes will pass the head here and get the left and it will add the path plus zero or path plus one for the right and that's essentially all it does just yep yeah, calls this method recursion and uh, that's it so that's how we get the paths and basically as you can see it will build a tree it will all across so that is zero one zero one all the way across and then we'll just keep doing that but it ignores the sentinel so as you can see the codes are are pretty efficient <coughs> so that's that that's the get nodes function Now we sort by frequency for the final display. The frequ frequency sort function. We got a first node, second node is sorted. It's very simple. Uh, keep sorting until it's sorted. So if it's not sorted, then keep going. Uh, so here's true, here's the false, means to go again and uh, if it enters here it's got to go again and this is very simple retrieve at uh, the first one retrieve at the next and store that as the second one node uh, and then we can compare the frequency first frequency if first frequency is less than second frequency we want to switch that so and then we just uh, put the second and the first frequency and the first and the second or the second location just switches around it's very easy and convenient with the replace that and our retrieve at methods so yeah it's a very simple uh, sorting method now that the uh, list is sorted we can print the list to the console so we got a temp node here see out car frequency and code for the header and then we got a for loop for each node in the list so as you can see here the iterator the size of the node list we'll just loop through all that uh, node list retrieve at store in temp and then just use temp to output car frequency and code and that's it And that was my Huffman algorithm project. Thanks for watching.